Async is yet another manufacturer that wants to capitalize on our love towards old-school mopeds. To be fair, this company got creative and swapped the vintage looks for a more modern design with squared-off elements. In order to further enhance the bike's design, the manufacturer is offering it in two attention-grabbing color schemes, Space Orange and Moon Silver. The two-wheeler is equipped with a rear hub motor with variable output. You can switch between Class 1, 2, and 3 power. So, for city riding, you would be limited to 1200 watts of peak output and 20 miles per hour, while the off-road mode would unlock 2500 watt peak capabilities, 50 pound-feet of torque, and speeds beyond 28 miles per hour. The presence of an off-road mode is hinting at the bike's all-terrain capabilities, namely 20 by 4 inch wheels with knobby tires, front air shock, rear coil-over monoshock, and four-piston hydraulic brakes. Async A1 reportedly has enough power to climb hills with 26.8% inclines. Async moped-style bike is offered with two battery options, standard 48-volt, 20-amp-hour battery good for 40 to 75 miles, and the Pro version with a 40-amp-hour battery and range estimations between 80 and 150 miles. Besides the larger battery, A1 Pro has a more powerful 5-amp charger, a belt drive instead of a chain drive, larger 5.5-inch full-color display, and a range of smart features such as digital key, navigation, and anti-theft controls. If you thought that boutique manufacturing was strictly limited to Bentley, Rolls-Royce, Pagani, and other posh vehicles, then you will surely be amazed by the works done by North Carolina's E-Roy Bikes. This electric mobility company is offering bespoke electric bike operations for their Arc Hero bicycle. Even though, on paper, Arc Hero is a Class 2 bicycle, its design is giving off some serious mini motorcycle vibes. The bike's frame is built with aircraft-grade aluminum and has a set of decorative elements welded to it. Right now, you can pick between eight already available designs, but if you'd like to make something even more unique and stunning, then there's a full bespoke customization service available. In terms of specifications, Arc Hero is equipped with a 2,000-watt rear hub motor and a 52-volt, 28-amp-hour battery. In the city riding mode, the model behaves like a traditional Class 2 bike that can reach 20 miles per hour on throttle or pedal assist power and give you up to 45 miles of riding. If needed, you can unlock the full powertrain potential in the off-road mode. A 2,000-watt peak output, 20-by-4-inch knobby Kenda, and a full suspension system would definitely make this model feel at home, while climbing steep dirt trails or cruising through a sandy beach. If it wasn't for the pedals, you'd have a hard time distinguishing between the new WOW Cyber and a low-displacement motorcycle. To be fair, the presence of pedals is not the only thing that makes this new personal electric vehicle qualify for the title of a bicycle. In its base modification, it can be equipped with a Bafang M150 motor, good for only 250 watts of output. However, the fans of breezy rides should not be disappointed just yet. Besides the 250-watt motor option, you'd be able to choose between a Bafang Ultra M620 motor, good for 750 watts of output, and a high-power QS138 motor unit that generates up to 5 kilowatts of power. Depending on the motor choice, you'd be able to enjoy the electrified push to either 15.5, 28, or 55 miles per hour. The entry-level Cyber 250 gets a 48-volt battery with 1 kilowatt hours of capacity, which is good for up to 200 miles of riding. The more powerful Cyber 750 is using a 52-volt battery with the same capacity. It should reportedly manage up to 160 miles on a charge. Finally, the motorbike-level WOW 5000 draws its energy from a 60-volt battery. With 2.8 kilowatt-hours at your disposal, you could travel for up to 60 miles. All modifications of WOW Cyber feature a futuristic design with an aluminum frame that has 8 liters of integrated storage, fat 24x4-inch fat tires, KKE double crown suspension forks, rear swing arm suspension, and Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. The list of optional equipment includes an off-road package, RGB lighting pack, GPS tracking, and a safety pack with front and rear security cameras and crash radars.
Volcon Brat is one of the most exciting e-bike newcomers that we were treated to this year. This new American development turned out to be an instant hit among riders, although it brought classic motorcycle looks to the e-bike world. Even though out of the factory Volcon Brat did not lack anything in the design department, a custom bike builder called Droog Moto decided to give it a unique design overhaul. Droog Moto is famous for developing rugged street fighter motorcycles with menacing looks, where dark color palettes dominate, so their version of the Volcon Brat couldn't have turned out any different. Guys from Droog Moto blacked out all the visible details, introduced 3D printed exterior trims, and added their iconic Street Fighter motorcycle headlight. In terms of performance, the bike is still powered by a 750 watt hub motor. It draws the energy from a 48 volt, 15.6 amp hour battery pack, giving you up to 70 miles of range. The bike comes with a smartphone app that lets you switch between four different performance levels or unlock the off road mode that gives you 28 mile per hour speed capabilities. Even though the powertrain specifications remain unchanged, Droog Moto introduced a bunch of components that should influence the smoothness of your ride. You'll get to enjoy an all new, fully adjustable suspension and improved brakes with oversized wave rotors and Magura MT7 calipers. Moto Parilla is an Italian e-bike company that has gotten popular for having some of the most outlandish designs in its class. Today, the manufacturer's lineup consists of a mountain bike, a city-oriented bike with an attention-grabbing trellis frame, the fat tire bike, and finally the brand's flagship called Ultra. In this video, we want to highlight the most exciting and capable Ultra model. The rough motorcycle-like design of this electric bicycle will certainly attract a lot of attention but besides the looks, the bike has a lot to offer. Its oversized tires provide great grip and traction in rough terrain conditions, while the electric motor could work in either a pedal assist or throttle activated mode to provide you the required amount of electric boost. While most Motoparilla bikes are powered by 250 or 750 watt motors, the Ultra bike is using a 4 kilowatt unit with 110 pound feet of torque capabilities. Besides a powerful motor, you're also getting a 52 volt, 17.5 amp hour battery pack, 8 piston disc brakes with 380 mm rotors in the front and 210 mm rotors in the rear, 26 by 4 inch tires, and a full suspension system by Cane Creek. Primarily marketed for off-road weekend adventures, the Trefecta RDR is offered with a choice of 250, 500, or 920-watt mid-drive motors from the German brand TQ. However, if you're ready to pay for an optional road kit, it can also serve as a reliable everyday commuting companion. Regardless of the motor output, you can rely on 88.5 pound-feet of torque capabilities, which is quite useful in tackling steep hills. The model weighs a hefty 75 pounds, but this indicator does not seem too high considering that the model is packing a large 50.4 volt 34 amp hour battery good for 125 miles of pedal assisted range. The RDR boasts a 28 mile per hour top speed, which is electronically limited of course. Additionally, for the price you get standard hydraulic calipers with floating disc brakes, performance suspension with 150 millimeters of travel, zero maintenance gates carbon belt drive smart Apple Play connectivity, supernova head and tail lights, and optional integrated ABS. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!